Good morning. Today we're here at Walmart. We're going to go and check out some of the prices on groceries, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Okay, as soon as we come into Walmart here, I figured we'd check out some of the produce since as soon as I come in, we find some good sales. $4.67 for watermelon. It's the best deal we've seen so far. $0.33 cents a piece for ears of corn. Not bad here. About the cheapest we've seen. Pineapples, $2.18. Or mangoes. These are not the best looking mangoes, but they are $0.98 cents a piece. I'm sure you can find a couple good ones in there. I do like their potato salad here, but I gotta say, it did go up in price. It was $6.98 before, now $7.47. True minimum price, huh? $2.88 for a cantaloupe. I don't know. I mean, they're $3.49 in some places, but we've been seeing these on sale lately. Okay, so here is what everyone has wanted to see. There has been a massive shortage of grapes all around the country. I had a feeling they would have them here at Walmart. We, I didn't see any at Kroger the other day, and it was very low at Meyer. Uh, actually, they just had one bag of green grapes. Look at these prices. $3.12 a pound on the red seedless grapes. I thought 238 was high. Look at this. 328 per pound. Make sure that's per pound. Yeah. Yeah, I believe so. 328 per pound for these green grapes here. That is absolutely insane. So it's, it's like we always say guys, we things we see things go away and they come back. This is almost double. This is almost a dollar increase in just a few weeks. Hey guys, Future Dano here. If you're appreciating the content we are doing and you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe down below. And for all of our returning viewers and new viewers, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. All the likes and interaction on the videos really help spread our channel out all around the world. And we thank you so much for that. We do appreciate it. Back to you, past Dano. Hey, you're not really saving too much by getting your mandarins here at Walmart. I gotta say these look good, but they're $4.46. To be fair, they're $4.99 pretty much everywhere right now. The $4.46 is the highest I've ever seen it at Walmart. Um, $6.97 for a five pound bag, which they don't have. Um, these are, well they say, boy, those are some huge mandarins right there. Wow. Uh, $6.97 for a five pound bag, pretty much $7.99 everywhere else, so a little cheaper here, if they have them. Looks like they got in some fresh lettuce here. I gotta say, it looks really good, and considering you're gonna pay $1.98 or more anywhere, it's not too bad here. These were $1.78 a little over a month ago, so they've gone up 20 cents, but we've been seeing them go up everywhere. Uh, best looking uh, lettuce, I've, heads of lettuce I've seen. Looks like the peppers finally went up here at Walmart also, $1.48. A pepper here for the yellow, orange, or red. Uh, they were $1.38 the last time I was here, so they've gone up a dime. So I know there's been a lot of cheap corn lately, and I just wanted to point this out, that the corn here at Walmart looks fantastic. I don't know where they got it from, but it's definitely the best that I've seen. $0.33 cents a piece, still a good deal. But yeah, and it could be just this Walmart, I don't know, but they look really good does look like our Walmart is doing the pre-cut uh, fruits and stuff now again. Haven't seen this here in a while. Uh, they hadn't really been doing any of this stuff, but it looks like they're doing it now. You are going to pay. Uh, you're going to pay the price for it. I mean, they're pretty expensive when they do all this work, but uh, yeah, it's cheaper to get your own and you'll ultimately get more, but I understand the convenience. How is this a deal? Why even put this out here? $4.98 for these family size boxes of cereal. Keep in mind, these were $3.98 a little over a month ago. So they've raised it a dollar. I don't know. Same with Honey Made Graham Crackers. $4.58 here at Walmart. That's just unheard of. I mean, yeah, I know like Kroger, they're like $5. But at least Kroger sometimes has a sale on the buy five or more save a dollar each deal. You know, we can get them a little cheaper. $4.58 regular price here. I don't know, it's just way too much. Okay, so if we see any holes like this today, uh, I'm taking into consideration that Memorial Day was yesterday, so they probably just haven't filled them back in yet. But I wanted to point out the lima beans. Been getting all kinds of comments. Uh, a couple comments over the last week 
you haven't been able to find frozen lima beans they do have them here at walmart dollar 62 for those and they have the small bags of okra here 98 cents again comments on these two and frozen brussels sprouts i do not see a price on the brussels sprouts here though um, i believe they're a dollar 47 wait a minute uh they might be the same price here this is the bigger bag of okra here i believe these are a dollar 47 also they are getting a lot of their great value different blends in here. The broccoli stir fry, haven't seen that in a while. The pepper and onion blend, uh, two fifty four for that, two fifty eight for the pepper and onion. They got a lot of them here. Well, it's good to see these are coming back in. Got some of the frozen mushrooms up here, two seventy four for uh, only ten ounces. Well, they got their green giant frozen ears of corn here, four dollars and ninety three cents. That's crazy. Uh, some of the different so all of the like corn green beans peas they have all gone up to 98 cents a bag here at walmart it's been a while it's been a couple months since they've raised the price on that but the mixed vegetables here still 88 cents we got a comment about a week ago someone was having trouble finding the frozen fruit one of the stores you mentioned was aldi let me say that uh with aldi it does seem to fly off the shelves because the prices are pretty good prices are okay here at walmart uh three pounds for 11.98 that don't seem like a terrible price all considering but like the smaller bags did go up from 3.98 to 4.24 on some of them like the berry medley they still have like the mixed fruit up here 2.38 for that and that is 16 ounces and this is 16 ounces as well we got the mango chunks here for $3.32 and the pineapple chunks for $2.48. So still some okay prices here at Walmart. More importantly, they have them in. Somebody had mentioned that hot dog and hamburger buns have gone up at Walmart. Um, so the great value ones are still $1.38. They've been that here for a while. I am noticing though that the ballpark has gone up. These were $2.48, now $2.94 and the butternut went up as well. These were $2.98, now $3.38. So great value has stayed the same for a little while, but yeah, some of the name brands are definitely going up in price. I don't know if this has to do with Walmart or Butternut. Okay, so we've been getting some comments. We got a couple comments on our last uh, video we went to Walmart that the frozen potato products have gone up. They have. Uh, it's been about a month since they initially went up in price. Uh, to 332 for a lot of the two pounds of anything tater tots shredded potatoes did want to point out they have a rollback offer on some of their crinkle cut fries though two dollars and 82 cents i don't ever remember them being 282 so i don't know they were 298 there for a while uh 248 like over a year ago or more but i'll never remember 282 but anyway still cheaper than 332 and some of them they have here, like some of their uh, wedges, like deli-style potato wedges, $2.98 for those. Now the Orida fries went down here. They are $5.28 for the two pounds. They are $5.79 at Kroger. So way cheaper here, and they've dropped 20 cents. So we got a couple comments the other day. We saw the single packs of Hot Pockets at Dollar Tree for $1.25. 298 here for two of them but some people were saying that these are still the bigger ones like we saw the ones at dollar tree were very thin um yeah i don't really know but they are 298 here for your regular ones uh here's a five pack for 724 but yeah they do got them in and uh i don't know i'm not really sure of the size but some people were saying they're the bigger ones so if they are then this is probably the better deal uh, I just noticed that the 12-pack here went up again, again, since the last time we were here. Keep in mind, last year, these were $10.98 here at Walmart, making them a great deal. This has gone from $13.48 to $14.24. $14.24 since the last time we were here, maybe a couple few weeks ago. So Bush's Beans has just been on sale everywhere around here. These big cans are pretty much $2 everywhere we go. They're $2 at Kroger, $2 at Meijer. Uh, $1.98 here at Walmart was $2.48. So $2.48 is a good regular price, I guess, because they're $2.69 pretty much everywhere else, regular price. But $2 this week, buy them up. 
Someone had left a comment the other day that they haven't been able to find the old El Paso tacos. Um, they do have them here at Walmart. Uh, we had this issue a few months ago. We couldn't find them anywhere. It's been about four or five months. But uh, Meyer, if you have a Meyer, they've been having these for a lot better deals. They've been on sale for a while. So, and some of these even half price at Meyer. So you may want to, you know, don't don't quote me on that now. That sale may be over. It's you know, it's been about a week or two since I saw them on sale. But I noticed they were on sale for like a month. So, but. They do have them here at Walmart. It does look like they have all varieties. What they don't have and seem to be seem to keep getting wiped out are rice and dry beans. Now we've gone over this a lot, but we've gotten more and more comments that people haven't been able to find the big bags of rice or dry beans. Um, you know, Walmart continues to be fairly low on this. I don't know if Memorial Day weekend had anything to do with it. Probably not. Um, I mean, they do have some here, and it's not the lowest I've seen, but you can tell they're having trouble getting some of them in. So we got a comment the other day uh, asking me, it was in an older Walmart video that we did, uh, if I like the pasta rings and meatballs that compared to the SpaghettiOs. Uh, I have tried this. It's been a long time. It's way cheaper, 92 cents. It used to be 88 cents. But uh, no, I, I prefer SpaghettiOs, but it's a close, it's close. So I have a feeling that these Idahoan dehydrated potatoes are gonna be going up in price. We've been seeing low price stickers at Kroger, usually a sign that they're gonna be going up again. Still $1.44 here at Walmart. We've been getting some comments on it, so I wanted to check it out. Someone had also left in a previous video, these Rotel diced tomatoes and green chilies. Uh, somebody said they went up at Walmart. It's been a while. I know these were $1.18, $1.24 now. Still a little cheaper than some places. I saw them for $1.50 the other day. Couldn't believe it. Kroger still has them for $1.34. Good regular price here on the Campbell's Chunky and Progresso Soups, though. We've been getting more and more comments on these and on how expensive they've been getting. Um, $2.26 for the Campbell's. $2.18 for the Progresso. These are $2.99 at Kroger, and the Campbell's Chunky is $2.79 at Kroger. So for a regular price, about the best there is. Someone the other day asked if I would check on prices of the Butterball Ground Turkey. It's the only place I know that sells it is Walmart. So uh, let's see, they got the 93% lean that is at one pound. No, I was gonna say it looks a little bigger. That's two, 20 ounces, so that's about a pound and a quarter. And that is 563 for that. That don't sound too bad. 646 here for a uh, 20 ounce of the 97% uh, lean. That's almost too lean for me. Um, let's see. They've got some of the. They've got all different kinds of butterball here. They've got them in the tubes here. These are 497, and that is one pound. But yeah, if you want butterball, definitely probably have to come to Walmart. I, I don't know. At least around here. They do have the Tyson Family Pack drumsticks for $1.42 a pound. And their wings are the same price as Sam's Club, $2.98 a pound. Honestly, I really like the Members Mark. I like Members Mark better than Tyson, so you want to keep that in mind if you have. Plus, some of these, I don't know. Some of these don't look all that great, but I don't know. Some people are wanting me to check out some of the chicken at Walmart, too. So Tyson's really pretty much all they have except for things that are not labeled but i've been told from a lot of you guys that this is tyson chicken too just in a different package now i am not sure of that and i will tell you that i have tried to look that up before and like when you look up like kirkwood chicken i know some people were talking about kirkwood from aldi being tyson well if you look it up i don't see anything that says tyson on there so and same with walmart um you got a lot of pork here. I'm kind of surprised to see all this pork with it just the day after Memorial Day. Probably because some of these prices are ridiculous. You can get this cheaper anywhere else, even Kroger. The initial wave of the rise of hamburger has started, guys. Uh, you find a good deal on hamburger, may want to freeze up some if you have the extra space. Uh, it's getting it's getting overpriced here at Walmart. Uh, $32.92 now for 10 pounds. That's three. 29 a pound which yeah i guess in the grand scheme of things ain't that expensive but i don't i don't know you guys know how i am with meat in the tube where i can't see it but this don't look all that great either 
Uh, and that is $17.38. You gotta be kidding me. Four and a half pounds, $17.38. For hamburger that don't look all that great. I don't know what's up with steak prices here at Walmart. They just keep going up. That's why they're that's why they're here. You know. People people know if you're shopping at Walmart for uh, meat, you've probably already looked at other places and then you just leave when you see the prices here. It's just crazy. $13.97 a pound for these. $11.97 a pound. What are these? T-bones? Yeah, T-bones. Oh, well, okay. That's I mean, you know, it's only going to go up, guys. We've been hearing meat prices are going to go up. So when you find the sales, like we always say, stock up on a few, you know, a few extra so that you don't waste your money. Got some bacon-wrapped Angus Premium Choice Beef. Uh, sirloin. Sirloin. Wow, I thought that was filet at first. I was like, no, nah, that ain't no filet. Ten ninety four dollars for that, I think. Nine sixty three. So, yeah, I don't know. Cube steak, six dollars and seventy-eight cents a pound. Remember when this was like two dollars a pound? How long ago was that? About a year and a half. And it just keeps getting worse. Look at this, stew meat, stew meat, cut up sirloin, basically, seven dollars and forty-eight cents a pound. Five ninety-nine a pound at Aldi. It did go up. It was five. It was like uh, yeah, five forty-nine a pound at Aldi forever, but it finally went up. $7.98 a pound for that one, the more lean stew meat, and $7.48 for the not as lean stew meat. That is just crazy. You guys thought I was joking about salt. I know I got a few comments, and, and not that people were being smart or anything, but people were saying that salt is the most plentiful thing on earth. It is. It really is, and that's what is shocking by seeing that this is pretty much gone. I apologize getting a little aggravated there, but this, I agree with all of you. This is silly. This is ridiculous. Why are we not getting in salt if it's a Morton issue? But it must not be because great value has gone as well. So what's really going on here? You know, and a lot of spices are low. Nothing new here. Oh, got to calm down after that. I've been getting more and more comments on shortages of salt, and it seems like it's hitting everywhere now. We got a comment the other day that there uh, you haven't been able to find Domino Sugar. This was up in Michigan. Uh, we had a couple comments from two people in Michigan. Uh, one of them, longtime viewer, saying they haven't been able to find Domino Sugar. Now we had a major shortage of this about five or six months ago. We saw we see it go away like every few months, and then it comes back. A couple different times it came back. The price was the same. Still the same price here at Walmart. Four dollars and thirty-three cents last year it was three ninety-eight, but that's the only increase we've seen here. We saw it go up to 479 at Kroger, but then we have their sugar here, which is still $2.94, making this the most expensive anywhere. Still $6.47 for the 10 pound bag, so a little bit of a better deal here. But this is just crazy, I, you know, I don't know. They do have a lot of the sweeteners and stuff. Got equal there, we got a comment on that the other day. And if you use Crisco oil, I know we have a lot of longtime viewers, a lot of cooks, a lot of chefs that watch our show. Five twenty-four here is the cheapest I've seen anywhere. Pretty much anywhere else is between six and seven dollars, between six and seven fifty, depending on where you shop. So this is definitely the best price on Crisco. Yeah, it looks like bacon's going back up here at Walmart. Got the Oscar Mayer, well, seventeen ounce pack for seven ninety-seven. Okay, now these were $6.97 on a rollback offer. That's what it was. So $7.97 is the regular price. They just, the rollback is over. They have some of the right bacon here. This, I believe, is a pound and a half, right? Yeah, a pound and a half for $8.98. We can find a better deal, even at Sam's Club. Uh, it's four pounds for $16, so that's a way better deal. Uh, some of the breakfast meats here, Bob Evans. I feel like these are kind of getting expensive everywhere. They do have the great, wow. Okay, great value, $4.48, Bob Evans, $3.97. That's odd. So I guess this one is a premium sausage. I, I don't know what makes it premium, but they're regular Vermont maple. I've had these before. These are really good, actually. $2.76 for that. That's more like it. So I am very happy to show our few viewers who have been asking about Claussen Pickles. 
Walmart has them back in. We have seen a shortage on these everywhere. We saw one jar at Meyer. <laughs> uh, Four dollars and sixty-six cents, though these were three ninety-eight, but they are coming back in. So we see the prices. You see them go away. Price goes up. I don't know. It's it's crazy. Okay, so I was curious. I saw this here. It is on a rollback offer because yes, these were three dollars the last time I was here. I was like, did they drop fifty cents? Yeah, they're on a rollback offer. They just didn't have a sticker over there. And the one people were, uh, someone was asking about was the classic beef Oscar Mayer. Those are three dollars and eighty four cents. Look at these. Got some foot longs here. That's that's bigger than a foot. Let's see. One and a half pounds. Yeah, that's definitely bigger than a ruler. I don't know, that's like 14, 15 inches. That says foot long. I don't know. I guess they are. I don't know. They're $8.68. Let me know if anybody's tried these. Let me know down in the comments. You can't find foot long hot dogs anymore. That is pretty awesome. Every time I come to Walmart, eggs have come down in price. This is awesome. 60 count eggs, $6.24. The last time I was here, $5.92. $5.92, that is awesome. $3.58 for 36 eggs. These are two 18 counts. Then they've got the 18 count. I get down here, see what it is. $1.54. $1.54 for 18 count. That's pretty good. So you might as well get the 18 count. $1.24 for the 12 count. This is wrong. Dollar fifty four is for the eighteen count. These are for the other twelve, I believe. Unless they're selling them for the same price on this. Nope, that's for the twelve count. That's in the wrong spot. But still, dollar fifty four for eighteen eggs is amazing. Dollar twenty four. I mean, we're almost back to what the prices were a year ago. So that's awesome. Hopefully, they keep coming down. They were a dollar ten last year. Seventy two cents if you don't eat many eggs. Seventy two cents for six eggs here does look like they have the smooth orange sunny d here and then one of our viewers likes this kind they have it here at walmart three dollars and 38 cents another great value product that i don't really care for is their orange juice especially that it's 298 i wouldn't get it anyway just because you know these are some this is something that i will spend the extra dollar on to get like simply orange not a fan of tropicana but even tropicana has gone up here too these were 328 not that long ago 398 now no sales on butter here, but I gotta say the regular prices are great. Uh, still $3.98 for the pound of great value butter. Regular price on Land Lakes, $4.98, best regular price anywhere. $5.28 for the Tillamook, Tillamook, however you like to say it. $5.28 for that. And then the best place that you can get Kerrygold butter anywhere, $4.18. We've seen this as high as $5.99 in some stores so 418 don't get better than that again we'll take a photo of that because we've been seeing this go up everywhere and i'll tell you what cheese has stayed the same price at walmart for well over a year and i'll tell you what i'm proud of them for that because we've been seeing other stores it's been going up a little bit um not much we saw it go up a little bit at meyer about six or seven months ago kroger has been 249 for a while so cheese really hasn't gone up too much i wish these two pound bags of the big bags of the uh, different cheeses, shredded cheese would go down. These were five forty-eight or five ninety-eight a little over a year ago, seven forty-eight now. But when you compare them to other stores, it's about the same. But their shredded cheese here is great. I love great value cheese. So Walmart used to be the cheapest place to get Ritz crackers. Uh, might still be, but they did go up. They were two ninety-eight regular price. Now three eighty-eight. Well, I will say this, Walmart is loaded down on cat food. They have plenty of fancy fees, but getting more and more comments uh, that a lot of these have been low in a lot of stores across the country. So I wanted to point out some of the cheapest ones. It's been a while since I've gotten any comments on pet food. So hopefully where you are, it's starting to come in. I know the prices went up here. These were 83 cents, now 88 cents a can for fancy feast, but that is still cheaper than anywhere else. Unfortunately, they do have the Sheba packets that we always get comments on, $1.18. Uh, we've seen these around $1.24 pretty much everywhere. So best price here at Walmart. And they have a lot of the Friskies uh, different multi-packs here, which we always get comments on if I can find them. 40 cans here for $30.48. Now the single cans are 
uh, 78 cents. These were 73 cents. So Frisky's went up a nickel and so did uh, Fancy Feast. It has been that way for a little while. Um, I don't see any nine lives. Oh, here we go. Okay, $2.66 for four cans of nine lives. That's actually an okay deal. Most places is $2.99. So not much of a savings, but a little bit of savings. Now, Walmart doesn't carry a ton of canned dog food, but they do have some. Uh, some of these prices have gone up. These were $17.97 for the 12 count of the uh, pedigree here. So $19.94 now. This one over here, 24 pack of Old Roy is $29.98. Uh, and they do have the Old Roy cans here. Single cans, $1.52. Still $1.82 for the pedigree cans. Um, they've got the items down here, which we get some comments on. Uh, two thirty-seven here. You know, these used to be a dollar ninety-eight not that long ago, but you know, I guess at least they're getting it in. Um, again, you may, if you're having any trouble with pet, your pet food, you may want to check uh, Chewy.com. From what I understand, still, if you are in their service area, forty-nine dollars still gets you free shipping and look for any other kind of discounts, like even the Caesar packets here, dollar forty-six. They've been this for a while, but I thought that over time these would drop in price. They have not. Uh, $1.59 now for one at Kroger. But we've been getting a lot, a lot of our viewers have been saying they have switched their dogs over to the Heart to Tail brand of these at Aldi. And they are $0.75 cents a piece. So you can pretty much get two of those for one of these. Well, that was our trip to Walmart. Uh, some okay deals. The watermelon for $4.67 uh the lettuce looked really good that's the best looking lettuce i've seen probably in months i don't know where they found that but good on that i don't know what's up with the grapes guys i know there's a major grape shortage could have to do with uh weather you know might have just been bad in an area and just wiped them out however we're seeing grapes for the highest cost they've ever been they'll probably just sit there at walmart and that's a shame you would think that they would just want to get rid of them but they're not 328 a pound for the green grapes, three eighteen a pound for the red grapes. Uh, and I don't know what's going on with salt. I don't know what's going on with salt. We've seen shortages not like that. That's near empty. I saw one thing in Morton's. There was a box underneath, which I did get down. That's an empty box. Uh, it was an empty box of salt. So I saw that at the end. I was like, eh, let me see if there's a, you know, a bunch in here or something. There wasn't. It was empty. Um, but yeah, you know, it's why we always say on the channel, guys. When you find sales, buy them up now because you don't know whether they're going to be there the next time or most likely the price will go up on them. You know, we do this we do this every day to try and help save you as much money as we can in the grocery stores. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. With all that being said, I am out and always remember the adventure is out there.